Night. All right. I got I got a copyright violation last time I tried this, so I won't be playing any videos, but uh, this came from Disclosed.tv. Uh, NASA's quantum space engine actually works. Uh, February 4, 2015, a couple of years ago, researchers at NASA Johnson Space Center discovered thruster systems which actually generate thrust despite, requ despite requiring absolutely zero propellant. The implications of this discovery are far-reaching applications for space flight and other technologies which require propulsion could one day become far cheaper, allowing space exploration to expand exponentially. The existence of technology also further validates the fact that energy can be derived tapping into a quantum vacuum, also known as zero-point energy or free energy. This type of technology uses quantum vacuum to fluctuate or uh, vacuum fluctuations to create thrust. A century from now, it'll be known that vacuum of space, which fills the universe, is itself a real sub uh, stratum of the universe. Vacuum in a circulating state becomes matter. The electron in the fundamental particle of matter is a vortex of vacuum, which, with a vacuum less void, at the center is dynamically stable. The speed of light relative to vacuum is the maximum speed that nature has provided and is inherent property of the vacuum. Vacuum is subtle, fluid, unknown, and material media. Vacuum is massless, continuous, non-viscous, and non-compressible, and is responsible for all properties of matter and that will bend their heads in shame knowing that the modern science ignored the vacuum and are chased to discover reality for more than a century. Uh, Karamasama uh, Tawari source. So there you have it folks. I'm not going to go into this but basically there's a lot of different things. I'll read this part since this is the scientific base. Approximately 30 to 50 micronewtons of thrust were recorded from electronic propulsion test article consisting primary of radio frequency resonant cavity excited uh, appropriate, uh, approximately 935 megahertz testing was uh, performed on a low thrust uh, micronutron level.